What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Perplexality here, and today I have another episode of Multiplayer Monday for you guys on the Halo Fix, and today we're definitely going to be jumping into some Capture the Flag, this is our fourth episode, so we're doing the fourth playlist now, and uh, you can kind of check out my stats. Capture actually failed on the last game, believe it or not, so uh, so we're kind of back to uh, to running our old our old thing. Capture failed like half the time for me, so it's uh, it's a pretty frustrating experience to say the least. Um, but I kind of have an idea by now of what I want to talk about. And we're going into Capture the Flag, uh, which is a very objective-based game type, and we haven't really done any objective game types uh, yet. We've It's been all Slayer. So objective game types are really what I excel at. I love objective. Um, and you really have to go into it with a different mindset. I'm definitely a main Slayer when we get into objective as well. Uh, but my goal uh, usually is I want to grab a power weapon and as soon as I grab a power weapon I want to push that power weapon as far into the enemy's base as possible I want to really make them uncomfortable so what I'm doing right here and this is actually what I played on last game and I was I was able to kill I, I like seeing how many people were killed most by me on the other team too it's a decent bit um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rush in uh, at the start of this match, I'm going to grab a sniper rifle. I'm going to try holding down that corner where sniper rifle spawns. Because if you can hold the middle of the map and the two corners, m enemy movement is greatly restricted. They really can't leave their half of the base very easily. Especially uh, not with being at a disadvantage. So you want to hold those kind of corners. And I'm actually going to turn my game volume down so you guys can't hear it through the mic. I actually have game volume this time. Last, last week I was playing without game volume on that SWAT game where I went like 34 and some. Uh, so this will be a, a much more interesting game that I can hear. Uh, but what I want to do is, uh, first of all, gain control over a certain position with that power weapon spawn, and I'm going to wait for our team to kind of start pushing into the enemy base. And when our team starts pushing, uh, what we're going to end up doing is kind of rushing forward and grabbing uh, the, the flag and pushing it on enemy spawns, because enemies are going to spawn in very set locations. Uh, they're not going to spawn all over the place like in Slayer, so you, you can very easily predict uh, where people are spawning and stuff like that. I don't know why I picked ammo. I really should have picked uh, Dexterity now that I think about it. But we're going to be rushing this sniper rifle. Just checking to see if the guys are over there. And what I'm going to do is, like, see we already got guys pushing into the enemy base. I'm going to start setting up right here. And I see no enemies. We've already got the flag. And see how we've already kind of pushed up into their spawn. And when we pull back the flag, I'm kind of on my own right here. Uh, but I'm going to start kind of setting up back here. And now I've already got a decent foothold in the enemy base, as you can see. I've got, a, I've got some decent control over it. And I'm actually going to go back to corner while, while that guy's kind of pushing us. He's going to lift, I bet. I hope he's not lifting. Okay, so he's gonna walk through that corner right there. And we're gonna go ahead and grab him. And I think I'm gonna do a bit of flag control right here. We're kinda pushed up on their flag, as you can see right here. We have a guy on our flag where it is. And I'm actually killing it with the no scopes right now. And he's weak, he's gonna lift. He's scared of me. I'm really just trying to keep them off that base. These guys keep flanking us. Uh, I got one of them. And we can kind of stop. We really want that OS spawn. If no one on on our team's gonna grab it, someone on their team's gonna grab it. So we definitely want it. And then now with this OS, I can even be more aggressive than I already was being. Keep guys off me for the time being while I swiftly run away. Because I can't handle all those guys at once. Go grab this uh, 
sniper rifle spawn. And I'm kind of controlling this corner. Almost had a two for one right there if I would really wanted it. These guys are really great at moving around the map, but I feel like this match I'm doing a decent job of uh, of moving around. Uh, I'm I'm boned right here. Oh, I no scope someone. Whoa! What the holy dude? That's awesome. <laughs> I, I no scope someone behind him. It must have ricocheted. Um, that's sick. Uh, okay, and now, as you can see, they got a ton of guys on that flag. I would just want to nade it right now. Got a nice triple kill. Get my sniper rifle back. Got control of the flag. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> and they do have our flag. I was not able to completely stop them. Another trip to deal. Okay, we're definitely not far enough into the enemy base. I think it's important to recognize when you are and aren't doing things correctly. And uh, as soon as you recognize that, it's very important to kind of start pushing yourself up to that standard that you think you need to be at. So, I realize... And, I mean, it's not a big thing for you to kind of realize that standard. I am on with the Zenoscopes today. I really am. Uh, I guess I'm finally warmed back up. But as you see, we got the flag. I want to be here for my teammate. I don't know why he's not pulling this way. Another frenzy. Got another double kill. Gonna go back and grab the sniper ammo and we secured another flag cap. See how useful you being this little foothold in the enemy bases like I'm just right here and I'm really a easily able to control where enemies are going and kind of what they're up to which he's kinda of scared of me I think he's gonna try flanking by dropping down it's looking like that's what he's gonna do no Nothing? Okay. He's not dropping. He's kind of waiting right here. Sorry if you can hear some people chatting in the background. This guy's kind of coming up. He, he knows I see him. And I can't handle all these guys at once. Oh, I gotta back off. That's another thing about playing by yourself, is that you really can't control what your team is doing. Ooh. He's mad. But uh, as you can see, I am able to kind of make it easier for my team. I'm giving them footholds that they don't normally have. That was almost a nice snipe, to, or a stick, too. Running Riot. Yeah, dang. Last thing I need to be is to be killed by a... Oh, and there goes the Running Riot. Okay, we're down by two guys, so that kind of explains a fair bit. Uh, so, um, so that might actually really explain a lot of why I'm not doing as hot as I normally would be. Or, yep. There we go. I'm really trying my best to, uh, to be aggressive because the more aggressive I am the more easily my teammates can kind of uh, push in kill. 
to right here. Like me being aggressive and and having all this map access really changes how you can play the game. He's gonna be aggressive and fight the OS guy. Uh, I thought I got taken out. Um, I'm doing I'm doing a lot of work. I think right now, even if we don't win, I think you guys kind of get the idea of what I'm doing because I'm playing a lot better. Like I got an AFK guy, and then I got. I've got only one other teammate actually playing. And notice how much of a problem we actually are for these guys. And I got sniped across map, can't really help it. Or or not across map, in our own base. They're actually taking it back to our base uh, at the start. And you notice we're kind of having the, the spawns run on us, a lot of people quit out and stuff like that. I might actually use this gameplay anyways because I think I can still kind of show you what we should be doing yeah and like see I can take I can take out two guys in a group of four uh, by myself so notice being aggressive, even though we're losing, we're still able to do a lot of work. And I know it's uh, this this game play has turned into a bit of a downer because of the two guys really quitting. But I feel like I've also you guys also kind of get the chance to gain something from the gameplay itself. And I hope they're gonna go and pull the flag, cause oh crap! Yeah, I was I, I was first of all spamming shots, and I should not have jumped out right there. But yeah, it's a frustrating game. <laughs> I guess it's not ending on the happiest note that you can, but I mean, I, I'll, I'll show you guys how well I did alone off of uh, of playing this map. You're actually going to hear laundry starting in the background here in a second. Sorry. I noticed one of the guys said, like, was someone doing laundry in the background of your video like when I was doing, like, Big Team Battle or something? I was like, yeah, they are. Like, look at this, 38 and 6. Admittedly, one assist because my teammates really weren't there. Two triple kills. Running Riot, two frenzies, you know, I did extremely well pushing up into the enemy base, really making sure I had some shots. And I really would have had my sniper as my tool of destruction had my teammates stuck with me so I wasn't getting flanked constantly as a sniper and actually was able to hold on to that thing for a while. But I mean, we lost two guys and uh, I'm not sure what the reason is. They might have just not been happy with how the game was going. They might have uh, lagged out, stuff like that. Uh, it happens all the time, but notice, I think everyone on the other team was probably killed most by me. That's funny. Um, but notice, uh, I think there is something to be learned that when you're playing by yourself, it's very important to kind of push forward into the enemy base. Grab a sniper rifle, push forward and help those teammates if you can, and, and kind of do what you can to stop the match. I also think it's a great uh, time to tell you never to give up. Uh, when you're in a game because I mean we were down by two guys and down by like three points and I was still trying to pop out some of those kills pop out some of those uh, those flag stops dying for it if I had to when I could have had a better ratio um, but I think in the end what it really all comes down to is is really pushing hard and making sure that you're not making the enemy comfortable with where they are where they actually have to be afraid of you because you definitely want them to be to see you up in their base and not think that they're going to kind of get away with living. Like, this guy, I think, was just kind of avoiding me the whole game. Because, I mean, he went positive one. But, I mean, the rest of them, like, minus seven, minus five, minus ten. One of them actually killed me most. He only had one one kill on me. Uh, but, as you can see, you can still do a lot of work by 
first of all, getting a position, and then moving as far forward towards the enemy base. And the closer you are to the enemy base, the more work you're doing for your team as far as flag caps and locking down enemy spawns. You want to be careful because you can get flanked the closer you get to their base. Um, but definitely that is the best way to go. And I think that's about all the time we have. I'd th like to thank you guys for watching. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a great day. And please, uh, please check out other videos on the Halo Fix and other videos that are going to come out later. And I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you later. ODST, out.